Tu la posé en volu de Zano de Rosida Tu la posé de Zano de Rosida <laughs> we don't talk about that. Okay. Oh, we don't talk about that. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you know all the black jokes. What's that? You know all the black jokes. You know all the black jokes. You know all the black jokes. I don't wake up every morning and ask myself, how can I ruin my life? It just happens. If I knew how to live a life of abundant joy, overwhelming wealth, superior health, and amazing relationships, I would, but the fact that I don't tells me that I don't know how. Life doesn't come with instructions. You just gotta wing it sometimes. Some of us are luckier than others in the process. Don't tell me my life is based on luck. Eileen, your life, it is based on luck. What country you grew up in, your sex, your race, who your family is. It's all a big setup. Your life is based on luck, because I can make my life whatever I want it to be. Someone called me ma'am today. I guess that means I'm maturing. You really need to look at me and then decide in your head how old you think I am and then refer to me as that. That of me knowing who I really am. And then you judge me to be Mr. Ma'am. And you do all of this without my permission. All men basically have two types. The model type that you see in magazines and the type he really likes. So if you're five foot six and weigh a hundred pounds, but notice that your man's eyes always seems to drift to that succulent woman on your right. That's probably his type. I don't think guys are keeping up nowadays. Women are out there working outside of the home, running businesses, and still taking care of the kids. Then he comes home. What does he do? Watch his TV, eat, sleep, and plays video games all day. Now, I meet a woman. I'm digging her. Oh, I'm digging her. I'm loving her. But I have to deal with all of the guys that have dogged her, all of her bad attitudes that she has about men. And so ladies, ladies, I don't have the energy. I think that my image as a black woman gets a bad rap. Like most of the men who approach me want me to be their mistress or some woman on the side. You are not the only one with that problem, girlfriend. I don't even see myself that way. It's very annoying that so many men want me to be that, and that's not what I am. Hmm. I'm not nobody's side dish. I'm the main dish. When I'm with other Asian girls, you know, I can get a date, you know, no problem. Everything's okay. But, uh, you know, when I step out of my community, uh, like when I was going to school, my attraction level just uh, went down to zero. And at first I thought, oh, who, what's wrong with me? But clearly it wasn't me. Uh, it was just the, it's just the way people looked at me. It was their image of me um, before they even got a chance to know me. So, uh, but Renee, I mean, what's more important is that you define yourself. You gotta, you gotta set your own goals, pave your own path. You know, it's not easy, but trust me, Renee, you're gonna get a lot farther along if you, uh, if you did that than if you just waited for someone else to come around and, and recognize you the way you were, you know, deserve to be recognized. Mm -hmm.